In our letter, pre-existing inflammation reduce the response to contact audience in TML79 deficient mice. We ask the question, is the response to contact audience affected by pre-existing skin inflammation? To investigate this, we use filaquine deficient mice and matrix deficient mice. Both mice strains have defect in the skin barrier and in addition the matrix deficient mice spontaneously develop an R17 driven skin inflammation. In a well characterized model for allergic contact dermatitis, we investigate the challenge response to the contact allergen denitrofluorobenzene, in short DNFB, in wild type, filaquine deficient and matrix deficient mice. As a control, mice were exposed to olive oil and acetone, in short OOA. Skin inflammation was measured as change in ear thickness at various time points after challenge. Whereas a similar response was seen in wild type and filaquine deficient mice, a reduced response was seen in the matrix deficient mice. LCD8 tissue resident memory cells play a central role in our model. We next investigated whether the generation of CD8 tissue resident memory cells were affected in DNFB synthesized matrix deficient mice. Interestingly, it was not. However, we found an increased number of CD4 tissue resident memory cells in matrix deficient mice. Next, we investigate if depletion of CD4 cells during the synthetization, well, DNFB could restore the response to DNFB in matrix deficient mice. In all three mice strains, we found an increased challenge response measured as change in ear thickness in mice depleted for CD4 cells compared to mice treated with the isotype control. But the response was still reduced in the matrix deficient mice, likely due to the highly increased number of CD4 tissue resident memory cells that are not removed by the depleting antibody and may play an anti-inflammatory role. So in conclusion, we saw that pre-existing skin inflammation result in the presence of anti-inflammatory mechanisms that suppress the inflammatory response to the potent contact allergen denitrofluorobenzene and that CD4 T-cells play a key role in regulating the response. Thank you.